Hey YT fam, it's been a while since I posted a video. I have been in New Jersey visiting family. I also went to Virginia to visit my sister. It was an amazing trip, loved it. Now that I'm back, I did wanna talk about one, this amazing mural that a great friend named Pablo Inc. I'll put his Instagram right here, did for us while I was gone. My husband and him are pretty much like brothers, so. He's the person we go to whenever we want any tattoos and mural work, which I'm so happy with. I just want to show you guys a little bit more of it. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I love it. It added some liveliness to our room, which I had posted pictures of and a video of before. It was pretty plain. We thought we wanted to paint this whole wall green. I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad he did this instead. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to just decorate around it now. This video, what I did want to talk about is how my husband killed my plants while I was gone. Now I know he did his best. Uh, however, they are hurting, they are dying. And we're gonna try and bring these back to life. Now I'm gonna show you my Fernie first. Fernie is pretty much burnt out. So she needs more soil. I was gone for three weeks. Um, I left them in pretty great shape. I'm so sad. And uh, he overwatered, which is very common. I think a lot of people sometimes just think the your plant needs water, your plant needs water. Not all plants need to be wet and muddy. <laughs> they could be moist, but this is definitely overwatered. She also needs some soil. Her roots are up here. And so, yeah, we are going to try and bring these babies back. If you saw the last short I posted where I was repotting them with baby girl, they were just looking so amazing. We're gonna bring some soil back to this one. So this is Fernie. Uh, I have been watching a few videos on how to bring them back. So he overwatered them and then he put them out in the sun. So I guess they like got a little burnt, overwatered. Um, I mean, she definitely grew. She did grow, she just, She's dying at the same time. And then our English Ivy. <laughs> Again, he did his best, they did grow, but if you just look at them, they're just over watered, over sunned. They are stressed out. My babies are stressed out. So the goal is to bring these back. Yeah, I'll let you know how this goes. I'll keep you posted. And that was uh, definitely what I wanted to bring attention to were my plant babies. I also have a spider plant. She looks like she's hanging in there. However, uh, she's also in need of some love. My snake plants did great. They don't require much. So I'm glad that he didn't uh, hurt them or kill them. But yeah, if you do leave your plants with someone to care for and you know that it's someone that might not know so much about them, I highly recommend that you give them some tips. Just say, hey, they don't need to be watered every day. Um, don't put them in direct sunlight. If they, again, whatever requirements your plants need. So that was my bad. If you leave your plants with, again, someone that doesn't know so much about plants, just make sure to let them know how to properly care for your plants. They might not necessarily know what your plant needs. And then you come back to these. <laughs> My sad little planties. But I know that they can come back. I know they can. We're going to keep an eye on these. We're going to give them some loving again. Another thing I wanted to talk about while I was here is pretty much my observation, oh, there go the fur babies, on being in Jersey and just watching everything blossom and bloom right now. And it made me reflect on life. And of course, I always love referring back to plant life and how it's pretty much like our life. Things I wanted to talk to you about are removing the weeds from your life just as you do in your garden so that you have a nice, clean, clear space to plant and to watch new things flourish. Remove the weeds from your life. They are not needed in whatever form that they may come, whether it's toxic people, toxic energy, bad habits, remove it. 
Another thing I noticed while I was up there is I was just taking a lot of walks with my sister-in-law and my goddaughter, which was so amazing. Thing number two, plant your seeds. Whatever it is, goals, intentions, things that you wanna watch grow, plant your seeds. After you've removed your weeds, plant your seeds. Maybe it's for a healthy relationship or healthy habits or just to be able to stay calm in your own chaotic world thing number three be patient in watching the journey blossom and bloom now this isn't always easy things like this may happen someone may unintentionally affect your plant slash life but it doesn't mean that you can't fix it being patient throughout the process of watching your seeds grow and watching them blossom and bloom watch the hard work that you're putting into journeys and into things take off and flourish it's not always going to be beautiful it's sometimes going to take longer than what you expected and that's all okay i planted sunflower seeds years ago and i planted i think it was like six seeds and four plants now when i go to my parents house they have a beautiful array of sunflowers from the i planted four on the side of the house 60s on the front of the house and now it's like a whole little jungle of sunflowers on the side of the house which is so beautiful to see but just to see that really excites me it's like wow years ago i planted this and now we can enjoy the beauty of it years later and that's pretty much the same concept that i have going on in my head when it comes to anything that i'm working on currently another thing that i wanted to add in here is watching your baby grow go through their journeys it's all very temporary because one day they're going to be adult themselves and I realized that they're also a seed that we want to care for and nurture so that they can be beautiful blooming flowers as well. It's just a different type of work. It's not any easier or any better, it's just different. But everything will come in its time and right now my time is being a mama, taking care of our space, still putting it together. Another project that I want to hit on is our backyard, which I will be making videos on that as well. I hope you stay tuned for that because our yard is like these plants. It needs to be recovered and I'm excited to recover it. I don't know how long the journey will be. I don't know what will come of it, but I'm excited to see more greenery back there. Anyways, guys, just know that your plants can be saved to give recommendations if you are allowing someone to take care of your plants and that you yourself as a plant should be taken care of. Remove your weeds, plant your seeds, watch yourself bloom, blossom, and grow. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the reference of being like a garden.